From public corruption to the threat of terrorism against military bases, there is a lot on the FBI's plate in Hampton Roads. Especially when they have a new man in charge just in the office a couple of months now. Tonight on your size, Jason Marks is a look at what the special agent in charge has as his top priority. Jason. Laura Martin Colbris said without a doubt the number one priority is counterterrorism. The FBI believes it has to protect the ports and keep the military safe. He also told me the FBI has a lot to do in the coming years. I've lived every eight-year-old boy's dream. I, you know, I played soldier or marine for me for part of my life, and then I played cops and robbers the rest of my life. The latter entails 21 years in the FBI, working his way through the ranks. In October, Martin Colbreth became the special agent in charge of the Norfolk Field Office. Counterterrorism, obviously, is, is the top priority. Since Hampton Roads is dominated by our military forces, the FBI is focused on those who could be threats. We're a huge target. I mean, it is something that every one of the partners, both federal and local, are keenly aware of. That work brought the FBI to a house in Suffolk. Prosecutors say the man inside was working with ISIS. So that's the hardest thing for us to, to find is that, that lone wolf, that individual actor who gets radicalized. Colbert says he wants his agents to also focus on violent crimes. He believes the FBI could help local police. We can help put investigation, most bodies, intelligence, um, tools that are both here locally and that we can bring to bear from a national level. Agents will also focus on weeding out public corruption. The FBI was very involved in the charges and conviction of Norfolk City Treasurer Anthony Burfoot. It's paramount, right? Uh, the people of a community, the people of a nation have the right and the expectation to have a politician who is trustworthy and is not cheating them. Yeah, and Colbert also told me, like police departments around the country, they have to be just as transparent the FBI does. He says, if the community can't feel comfortable with the FBI, then why would the community trust the FBI? Jay Smarks, 10 on your side.